Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we explain how to properly create Python virtual environments in Visual Studio Code or VS Code and how to run Python scripts and install Python packages in VS Code virtual environments. But before I start with explanations, I would like to mention the following. I created this video tutorial mainly because online there are tons of tutorials that either do not correctly explain the procedure for creating virtual environments in Visual Studio Code or that convey wrong information. Consequently, I created this video tutorial to explain the correct procedure for creating Python virtual environments. Okay, so here's the plan. First, I will create a folder and I will start VS Code from that folder and then I will explain how to run and create Python virtual environments in Visual Studio Code. So let's start. The first step is to open a terminal. So click on start and search for command prompt. Okay. Now, I, I'm creating all the folders on my D drive and consequently I switch to the D drive. Then over here, I will create a new folder. I will call the folder as test1. Then I will navigate to test1 folder and inside of this folder I will initiate a VS Code session. To do that I need to call the executable file whose name is code and I will specify dot. Dot over here means that I'm telling to VS Code that my working folder will be test1. So let's run this. And here is the Visual Studio Code. The first step is to install a Python extension for VS Code. To do that, click on View, and over here, click on Extensions. Another approach for bringing this extension menu is, for example, if you're an explorer, you can simply press Ctrl, Shift, and X, and this will bring the extensions window. Now over here, search for Python. Okay, so click on the first menu, and this is the Python extension for Visual Studio Code and I will click over here to install this extension. Note over here that this is not a Python interpreter. The Python interpreter should be installed before even installing Visual Studio Code. Okay, now let's go to this explorer over here and let's create a new file. There are several ways to do that. The easiest approach is to click on File and New File. And over here, I will call the file as test one dot Pi. Now, if you press enter and create file, you will see test1py. And this is my test1 folder that I created in a command prompt. And over here, I will have a single file, test1.py. For illustration purposes, let's write a simple Python file. Over here, I will simply print a single message. And I will write, this is my first first Python, first Python program. Okay, good. Now, let's learn how to execute this program without creating an environment. To do that, we need to select and the interpreter. So you see over here, you can either click over here, or you can do another thing. You can press Control, Shift, and you can press P. This will bring this window and now type here Python select interpreter and you will see this option click over here and over here you have several options to choose I will choose this default option okay now to run Python program you can either click over here so let's do that and you can see what happens you can see that we are executing the program in this terminal window okay now, if you click over here, you will see that this is actually P PowerShell. That is, this PS stands for the PowerShell. Another approach for executing this Python program is to do the right click and to click over here on Run Python and click on Run Python file in the terminal. So that's another approach. Good. Now that we know how to run a Python program, let's create our first virtual environment. There are several approaches for creating Python virtual environments. I like to use a terminal to create Python virtual environments. Consequently, let's learn how to start a terminal. So click over here to close this window, then 
click over here, then click on Terminal and click on New Terminal. Now, notice over here that VS Code automatically starts PowerShell, and I don't want to do that. I want to start an ordinary Windows Terminal. To do that, click over here and click Command Prompt. And you can see that currently I'm in the command prompt and I'm in my test folder. To create a Python virtual environment, we will use this command. We will call Python -m. VNV is the standard shortcut for the virtual environment, and ENV1 will be the name of my virtual environment. Over here, you can change this last name. That is instead of and one or env1 you can use any other name now notice what will happen once i press enter over here you will see this folder and you will see this message we noticed a new environment has been created do you want to select it for the workspace folder click on yes okay now let's go back to this folder this folder is a very important folder that completely defines our environment Inside of this folder, new packages will be installed and some other things will be set up. And you can see here under scripts, you have several files. These files are very important and we will explain them in the sequel. Another thing that you should notice is that over here, you can see that this Python interpreter is selected. That is, we are actually running a Python interpreter that's stored in our virtual environment. That is, we are running virtual environment Python interpreter. That is, we are running this file over here. Now, you also have to make sure that, or to double check, better to say that VS Code is actually running this Python interpreter from our virtual environment. To do that, press Control Shift P and then search Python select interpreter and you should click over here and make sure that this option is selected that is that we are running the interpreter file given over here inside of our virtual environment so click over here now let's make sure that this thing is running again run the file and again you will see that the file is run in the powershell okay now Let's explain how to install a package, or better to say Python module. I always mix the names. When I say package, I actually mean Python modules. From now on, I will just say Python modules. So let's say we want to import NumPy as NP. And over here, let's say that we define two numbers. The first number will be Pi number. By using NumPy, we can define Pi like this. And let's say it's pi over 3 and <clears throat> s is, for example, numpy dot pi over 6. And let's say that number a is numpy dot sine c plus numpy dot cosine s. And let's say that we want to print a. Okay, let's try to execute this. Now, if I try to run this file, you will see problem and here's the problem you will get this module not found error no module named numpy the reason behind this is that we didn't install numpy module in our virtual environment so let's learn how to do that well to do that we need to bring back our terminal that is not the powershell the ordinary terminal again click over here terminal Click on New Terminal. You know, and then you will get this message, which I really don't like, since they changed something in new version, okay? Just ignore this message for the time being. Now, let's click over here, and instead of Terminal, actually I made an error, instead of, oops, instead of Terminal, just first close these things here. Let's just close this. Okay, let's close this avoid confusion let's close everything so do over here terminal and click on new terminal okay instead of powershell let's click over here and let's 
simply select Command Prompt. The first thing that you need to do when you want to install a package is to activate this environment. Although this environment is currently being installed, it's not being active inside of this terminal. So let's learn how to activate this environment. To activate the environment, you actually need to execute a specific file. This file is located in environment one, scripts, and over here you have activate.path. So we need to run this file. To run this file from the command line and make sure that the ordinary terminal is being selected, you need to specify a path to that file. And the path is relative with respect to test one folder. So we will type environment one, then it is in scripts, and the name of the file is activate. And let's run this file and you will see one big difference. Now, what's the difference over here and here? The difference is that in this parentheses you have environment one. This means that we are currently in a Python virtual environment. And now over here, since the environment is activated, we can actually execute our pip install command to install NumPy. So type pip install numpy and notice over here that something will change and press enter let's see what's happening okay pip install numpy is being installed collecting packages now be patient over here you will see something over here and then slowly you will see that something changed over here okay now if you expand library you will see that we have a numpy over here good now we install NumPy. Now again, let's try to run this program. To run this program, do the right click and then run Python and run Python file in terminal. And here it is. We are able to run the Python program. And notice over here what's happening. Over here, <clears throat> Visual Studio Code is telling to PowerShell to execute this file. That is, we are executing the Python dot executable file from our environment and this is the source file okay this is how to install a python module or a package now let's learn how to deactivate our environment so click over here since you have this terminal open cmd and over here simply type deactivate but before we do that let's let's do this let's type pip list let's see all the packages that are installed. And you can see that we only have NumPy and pip. On the other hand, let's do the same thing in this window where we actually run our program. So let's type pip install. No, pip list actually. Let's see. And you can see that we are having here NumPy and pip. Okay, so let's go back to our original terminal and let's type deactivate. To deactivate this environment and now we are deactivating the environment however if we go back to this PowerShell we can still run our program since in this PowerShell this environment is not explicitly active however this Python interpreter is running in this terminal okay that's all for today